equestrians and adventure fans. My name is Alyssa. I am on a quest to ride every breed and today is a very special day and that is because it's time for my 100th breed. We are heading to a well-known equestrian center in one of the world's oldest active national studs, a place where the Swedish warmblood was originally bred. It's been horses here at Flyinge since the 1100. It started with the monks, and then when the war started, they also started to breed horses for war horses. This Polaris is from that when they educated the horses for the war. They practiced, you know, Levade and Capriole and everything like this. Can you just imagine all the different horses that were in between here? You can see this is tough horses standing and practicing, getting strong. When people come here and they can take their competition horses and standing here, there's like, it's a lot of history. Absolutely. Yeah. I feel like it's such good inspiration. You know, you're here, you're thinking about your competition, but then you also are tied back to yeah. all of the horses that have been here before. Mm -hmm. Their focus is on developing knowledge, horses, and people. They have a wide variety of different classes and programs available and host many different events and competitions throughout the year. Everyone can come here. If you want to be here and study, it's, it's open for everyone. We love this place. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Actually, we do. <laughs> I can tell. I worked here when I was little in yes. the stables and then I went to school and then I went abroad and then, and then I came back yes. like, without thinking about it. And even if people are not still here, they talk about and they they talk about fleeing and they always remember the time here. Uh, it's, uh, it's special. You're gonna go with uh, Marie and her students out. And Marie here, our colleague, she's a world champion and uh, the team is world champion and the second place in the world championship. <laughs> This is one of the many amazing things that these guys get to do here. This is a class right now. We have a driving lessons once a week. So this is our last time actually. Really? In 1661, Linga was established as a royal stud by the King of Sweden. Today, they're one of Sweden's three national equestrian centers. I may be slightly biased, but this is my kind of school right here. <laughs> I bet you didn't think you were going to have your last class filmed. <laughs> <laughs> Actually not. That was awesome! Good drivers now. You trained them well. It sounds like you have a very fun life. <laughs> it's perfect. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Do this all day. It's time to head to the arena to meet my quest horse and the student that rides him. I'm from Finland. I've been riding my whole life. Uh, my uh, family is uh, a real horse family. I came here in uh, autumn. It's been, uh, uh, it's a privilege to uh, study here. It's a nice place with uh, amazing uh, teachers. They have uh, a lot of knowledge and you can, uh, you see also those, uh, those top riders all the time and you learn so much from them also. It's a uh, Great place. We have a lot of places to ride and uh, we have much opportunities to ride different horses. I think that's just amazing. What is your favorite thing about Swedish warm bloods? Oi. I think they, uh, it doesn't matter if they are dressage horses or jumping horses or uh, eventing horses. They, are, they always have such a great um, quality, you know, in the quality in everything. If they are jumping horses, they have a great technique, they have a great mind, they have a great mind for jumping, they have a great mind for dressage, they have, they are such a special horses, 
almost every one of my horses in Finland also uh, is a Swedish horse. I think uh, it's absolutely my favorite breed. And uh, yeah, they know how to do it here in Sweden. Yeah. This is Serrano. He is a school horse here and is related to the stallion that Olympian Kira Kirkland rode. It is the official moment for me to have hit breed number 100 on the project, which feels absolutely amazing. And what a cool place to be doing this here right now. Already amazing horse people over here. Beautiful, beautiful gelding, Swedish warm blood. I am so grateful to be doing what I'm doing. <laughs> now it's time to ride. The Swedish warm blood is one of the world's oldest warm bloods. For many centuries, these horses were bred specifically for riding. In 1874, a system was designed with strict rules for appearance, performance, and character. In 1928, the Swedish Warm Blood Association was formed and the official stud book was created. It's still an open stud book today. They can be any solid color and average height is between 15.2 and 16.3. Swedish Warm Blood horses are now used around the world and they excel at international competitions and in major equestrian events, including the Olympic Games. In Sweden, they are used at riding schools, in the armed forces, police cavalry, and even the Royal Mounted Guard. Let me know your favorite thing about Swedish warm bloods in the comments below. Oh wow, I just love, there's so many so many different horsey things happening right now. This is one of the oldest stud farms in the world and they have been breeding horses here since the 12th century. And it's amazing to see the legacy that they are continuing to carry on, not only for the horses that they're breeding, but for the riders that they're training and educating as well. Horses often show up in our lives in rather unique ways. I was that horse crazy kid from Wisconsin with non-horsey parents, and a chance encounter at a community center parking lot started the path of how I got my first horse. I think that is one of the many wonderful things about these animals. The opportunity for each of us to build our own journey, whether we are lifelong riders or simply find joy in seeing them. What a journey it has been this past 100 breeds. Thank you all so much for riding along with me and discovering all of these wonderful horses. Make sure to stick around and subscribe to the channel because we've got lots more breeds coming up. I will see you at the next episode. This native Swedish breed is a small, heavy horse that has traditionally been used for agriculture and forestry work.